In this segment, Navigating the Control Panel, we'll endeavor to help you get a more in-depth understanding of the control panel. You'll be shown how to navigate, so to speak, the buttons that will help you access key functions that the LCD menus will display. Let's review each component of the control panel. First is the LCD readout screen. This basically tells you what the plotter is thinking, or will display an action that is needed, such as pressing a button. Next to the LCD are the function keys. These allow you to choose certain functions or menu options that are going to be displayed in the LCD. You'll see examples of this as we progress through the lesson. The simple key allows you to choose whether you want a simplified version of the menu instead of the normal version. The small indicator light, when illuminated, shows which mode is enabled. The pause menu key will pause the cutter's cutting operation and switch the cutter to the menu mode. When the cutter is in the menu mode, the indicator light next to the button will illuminate. The condition test key will allow for the cutting conditions to be altered and tested. The arrow keys in the middle of the control panel have two functions. The first function is to move the tool head to a new location. The second function is to change values on items displayed in the LCD screen, such as increasing or decreasing a value. When moving the tool head to a new location, it will start out slowly. Pressing the fast key while pressing the arrow keys will speed up the movement. The origin key will set a new start point or origin at the tool head's current location. The copy button will make copies of what's currently in the buffer, in other words, the last job that was sent to the cutter. Finally, the enter key is usually pressed after a setting has been altered. Pressing it tells the cutter that you accept the changes. Let's go over the menu structure and how to navigate through the menus. As mentioned earlier, there are two modes to the menu, the simple mode and the normal mode. Once again, the simple mode is a simplified version of the menu. If we were to press the simple mode button, the cutter will ask us to confirm that we want to change to the simple mode. Press the one button for yes. This will switch to the simple mode by reinitializing the cutter and then having us choose Roll 1, Roll 2, or Sheet. For this training video though, we will keep the menu in normal mode so we can have access to all the menu options. To switch back, press the simple button again, press the one key for yes, and then initialize the cutter by pressing Roll 2. As a note, the plotter has to have media loaded and be in ready mode before switching to simple or normal modes. To access the menus, we need to press the pause menu button. This pauses the cutting operation of the plotter and it will display on the LCD screen these menu functions. Tools, Arms, Area, Media, I slash F for Interface, Advanced, and Test. On the corner of each of these choices is a little number or arrow indicating the button that should be pressed to enter that menu option. For instance, to enter the tool menu options, these are the settings for the operation of the tool, we would press the one key. Once we enter into a menu with options, in this case the tool menu options, there will be a list of settings that we can change. Here we have the tool up and down, step pass, offset force, and offset angle. But these are not the only options available. If you notice in the upper right hand corner of the LCD screen are two numbers that indicate both the number of pages of options and the current page number. If we press the up or down arrow key, we can scroll through and see the different types of settings for the tool menu options. To select one of the options, press the number next to the option. For instance, if we wanted to change the tool up speed, we would press the 2 button. This gets us into the tool up speed setting. Here we can either increase the value by pressing the up arrow key, 
or decrease the value by pressing the down arrow key. To accept the value, press Enter. This action will accept the value that we just set, and it will then revert us back to the tool menu options. In this case though, we really don't want to change the tool up speed. So to cancel this value or the setting, we can just press the left arrow key, and this will bring us back to the tools menu. Keep in mind that this type of operation is true with many of the menu settings. From here, to get back to the main menu, press the left arrow key again as indicated by this little arrow at the top left of the LCD screen. When navigating the menu, always look at the LCD. It will always show which buttons to choose to get where you want to go.